Hello friends, it is now the fifth day of Advent and you have got to see the picture that we have for us today. These pretty birds on snowy limbs and look what our friends are doing inside this decorated house. Looks like they're decorating Christmas cookies. Oh my goodness, so much fun. I wonder how much Christmas cookie decorating you get to do. And do you do it with your mom and dad? Do you do it with your grandma and grandpa, aunts and uncles, brothers or sisters? Do you do it at school? Do you do it at daycare? Hmm, I wonder where you get to decorate Christmas cookies. Hmm, well, let's go ahead and jump into our devotion for today, okay? The question right at the top, it's not about Christmas cookie decorating, it's about something else. Let's see what it is. It says, I wonder, what do wreaths have to do with Christmas? This is a Christmas wreath. And what do wreaths have to do with Christmas? Let's find out. Draw a circle in the air with your finger. <gasps> Did you draw a circle in the air? Okay, do it again. Mm -hmm. Round and round you go. A true circle has no beginning and no end, right? A true circle has no beginning and no end. It will go on forever. God will go on forever. He is eternal. Wreaths are in the shape of a circle, and they are often green. They remind us that God gives eternal life. God sent his son, Jesus, to the earth to live without sin. And then Jesus suffered on a cross and died for our sins. Through the gift of faith in Jesus, we have the gift of eternal life. Oh, listen to all those gifts. Through the gift of faith, we have the gift of eternal life through Jesus. We also have the forgiveness of sins. Oh, praise the Lord. As you light candles on an Advent wreath or see lovely Christmas wreaths hanging about, thank God that he sent Jesus, his son, now draw a circle in the air and say, God gives eternal life to me. Let's do that again. God gives eternal life to me. One more time. God gives eternal life to me. Good job, friends. Okay, now here is our Bible verse. I bet you thought that was our Bible verse for today. Well, this is our Bible verse for today, okay? I'm gonna say it first and then you say it after me, okay? It's just some selected words from two Bible passages, okay? So it's from 1 John 5, 11 and 12. And this is the part that we're gonna say together, okay? I'll say it first. God gave us eternal life. Whoever has the Son has life. Ready? God gave us eternal life. Whoever has the Son has life. One more time. God gave us eternal life. Whoever has the Son has eternal life. Good job, friends. Okay, now here's a do it. Okay, this is something for us to do. It says, decorate a wreath and hang it. Then look for other wreaths. Where did you find them? Hmm, I can't wait to hear about that. You guys are doing such a great job of sending me pictures of the things that you guys are doing together and, and little messages about what's going on in your homes as you do these devotions. I love it. Keep it up, okay? Thank you. Okay, now let's see what our Advent uh, calendar shows for us today. First, we have the earth from day one. And then we have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil from day two. And then we had stars from day three. That's right. And then we had, oh, that's right, that tiny little baby on day four. Oh, let's see what today is. Let's open it together. It's a wreath. Did you guess that? Oh, I should have let you guess. Yeah, a wreath that's fabulous. Okay, let's go on now and let's see what our prayer prompt is, okay? Now, our prayer prompt for after this video ends, it says this, okay? It says, thank God that he has given you eternal life through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. That's an easy prayer to pray, isn't it? All right, friends, I love you so very much, and I'll meet you right back here tomorrow. Bye.